Joe Phoebs, we're up here, your favorite space full of demons. Um, welcome to the new uh, newcomer. Welcome to my channel. Hope you stay for longer. And of all the veterans, welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. Huh. As you remember, uh, the last time out, uh, we kind of, um, I mean, we arrived at Denerim and we we're about to um, call the landsmith. I mean, all the Emun will. But before that, uh, let's check out camp and talk with our. Um, Apparently, we're almost at the end of the game, so let's talk with our teammates one last time, or a few times maybe. What say you? Can you teach others to be assassin? Hmm, I could teach others, but not yourself. First, I would need someone who has training as a rogue. That is, unless you would care to spend the years it takes to gain the fundamentals. But, if there should be such a person who desires this training, yes, by all means, send them to me. The crows are already furious, no? I shall enjoy tweaking their nose further. Okay, great, awesome, thank you, Zerdan. I know that look. You have something on your mind, don't you? Oh, uh, you need to talk? Of course. What will you do when this is all over? Mm, I have not given this a lot of thought. What will I do? We've traveled far and wide. Does it need to end? I would like to see the world too. There's so much out there. Adventures to be had and stories to be told. I want to be part of it all. I might need some company. And you're not too irritating. You're welcome to come along if you like. When you put it that way, how can I say no? It is settled then. You and I wandering the world, seeking our fortunes. I can't wait. Okay. This sounds good, but um Am I getting friend zone? What's on your mind? Why did the spirits choose to help you? I have always had an affinity for the spirits of the Fade. As a child, I never feared my dreams because I knew they were there. What about demons? I could sense the demons too, and their presence frightened me. It was the kindly spirits of the Fade that took the fear from me. I've always been able to feel the spirits, even if I never saw them. And as I nurtured my talent in the circle, I became more sensitive. I began to notice every time I was in the Fade, whether it was in a dream or in magical practice, that I was being watched. Creepy. Sometimes I would see it, a glowing, nebulous form. Most times I would just feel its presence, gentle and comforting, but somehow alien. I think it is a spirit of faith. I have never been seen before, and perhaps I am wrong. But something tells me I'm not. It always felt like the same entity. This one spirit was curious about me, and was guarding me, for want of a better word. You mean it protected you? There were times when I was in the Fade that it seemed to stretch forth to shield me, keeping me safe. And I think it gave me strength in my most terrible battles, Ostagar being one of them. And also in your fight with Petra's demon. I don't know why I was chosen. Perhaps it knew that there was something more that lay in store for me. I like to think that I was given a rare chance. And I'm going to make the best of the time so generously given to me. Fighting Darkspawn? I will not lie motionless in a bed, with coverlets up to my chin, waiting for death to claim me. That is not the death for me. And so I will fight alongside the Grey Warden, and help prepare him for the task that is yet before him. So you had better listen to me, because I swear, if I should fall before the end and you don't seem to be doing things properly, 
I'll get up again to give you a good finger wagging. I'll hold you to that promise. You know, I think you'll be all right, even without my help. Thanks, Mom. I mean, when? Not nah, I guess. Hey there, Morgan. How are you holding up? It's a curious thing. I do not know how else to describe it. What? Is something wrong? No, nothing is wrong. It is a little embarrassing to admit, in fact. I am reminded of our first meeting in the wilds. I had been in animal form for some time, watching your progress. I knew immediately that you were far more formidable than the other men you traveled with. I found you intriguing. Yet I resented it when Flemeth assigned me to travel with you. I assumed that at best you would drive me from your company as soon as we left the wilds. Why would I do that? I am aware that I have little talent for forming friendships, to put it lightly. It is something I know nothing of, nor ever thought I needed. Yet when I discovered Flemeth's plans, you did not abandon me. Whatever your reasons, you fought what must have been a terrible battle without hope of real reward. I did it because I need you here. The extent of my usefulness does not explain the interest and kindness you have shown since the wilds. You could as easily have ignored me entirely, yet you did not. You will need to forgive me for speaking so awkwardly, but... Do you suppose that we have become friends, you and I? I have nothing to compare it to. I suppose you could call it that. Indeed. Remarkable. I have been with men physically, those who lusted after me and even professed love. But friendship with a man? I did not know it was even possible. Still, tis good to think that we are friends. Of all the things I could have imagined when Flemeth told me to go with you, this would be the very last. I want you to know that while I may not always prove worthy of your friendship, I will always value it. But enough of such idle talk. There are more useful things to be done, surely. Okay. What comes, my friend? Let us discuss something personal. We are in camp, so tis as good a time as any. Hmm, never mind. Yep. This ship has sailed. I have a question for it, if it will indulge me. My understanding is that it encountered the smith named Caradin. He who was responsible for the creation of the golems, that he had become a golem himself. What I do not know is what became of him. Why did he not return with it? I would have many questions for him. He's dead, Shale. He can't help you. Dead? But did it kill him? Did he attack it? No. I see in its eyes. It does not tell me because it thinks I would not want to know the truth. Perhaps it is right. May I ask what became of the Anvil of the Void? Assuming that it too still existed. It was destroyed, as Caridin wanted. Then it was no doubt for the best. With Caridin also goes any chance I might have had of finding answers on my past, I assume. Tell me, did it find out anything from Caridin? Anything at all about how I might have been made? The Anvil made golems from living souls. Meaning that I was once a living creature? That seems highly unlikely, and more than a little insulting. Is it certain? You were once squishy, sad but true. Hmm. Was I forced into this? Or simply glad to abandon a frail body? And more importantly, who was I? I simply must know. I cannot help but believe that answers lie elsewhere in the deep roads. We must look. I'll see what I can do. If it can search the deep roads, I may remember something. If not, then I will have to wait. 
Oh, she is angry with me. Why is she angry with me? Warm. Any other neutral. Yes. I have a question. I am hardly Actually, surprised. Let's Very go. well. As you yep, wish. I don't like to really stand, sorry. Ask I have away. Some questions. Of course. What was it like to be a Grey Warden with all the others? I didn't know them for very long, but I guess it was longer than you. You never met them all, did you? They were quite a group. Actually, they felt like an extended family, since we were all cut off from our former lives. We also laughed more than you'd think. There was this one time... Well, you probably don't want to hear stories about men you... No, I'd like to hear about them. There was one Grey Warden who came all the way from the Anderfels. What was his name? Gregor. Gregor. He was a burly man with the biggest, fuzziest beard you've ever seen. And the man could drink. He drank all the time, but he never got drunk. Finally, we all made a pool to see just how many pints it would take to put him under the table. Sounds like he had a lot of fun. Sometimes. We were kin of a sort. All of us had gone through the joining, so we knew... Well, anyhow, it doesn't have to be deadly serious all the time. Anyhow, we never did find out. He said he'd drink a pint for every half pint that the rest of us drank. He was still going by the time the rest of us were passed out. I'm told that Duncan walked in later on and saw us all passed out from one end of the hall to the other, and Gregor still drinking. <laughs> Duncan laughed until he nearly... until... A lot of people have died, Alistair, and a lot more will. Yes, I... I suppose so. I thought I was done with this, but... It just struck me that I have nothing to remember Duncan by. Nothing at all. There's no body, not even a token of his that I could... take with me. That must sound really stupid to you. Not at all. I just would have liked something of his to take with me, that's all. Well... There's no use in moaning about it, is there? It's gone. Let's just go. Um, don't I have any, like, some kind of, um... Something that belonged to Duncan? Let's give me another space at least. Oh, how dear of you. Thank you so much. Um bottom. Unexpected. Thank you. Wait, you don't belong to you don't belong to um, okay. Never mind. We we talked enough. Let's uh let's go to uh, back to the dinner room. I'll get this card again. Let's take Zebran, why not? Maybe Yes. Shale? And four. yes. Yes. Why not? Yeah, right. Um, city map actually. I love Red Peter State. Yes. Right. Mm, I heard. Sorry, yeah, but like. 
there should be some kind of quest when we arrive. Hey there. This is a nice estate, isn't it? What's on your mind? Is there something you could do to cure you? Cure me? What? Am I sick now? I guess death isn't an illness, is it? Even you know that you cannot cure the dead. And I'm not the only one dying. You are too. <laughs> I'm just more efficient about it. Ah, child. Your concern is heartwarming. But death comes to everyone. And it is You're not something afraid? to fear. People fear not death, but having life taken from them. Many waste the life given to them, occupying themselves with things that do not matter. When the end comes, they say they did not have time enough to spend with loved ones, to fulfill dreams, to go on adventures they only talked about. But why should you fear death if you are happy with the life you have led? If you can look back on everything and say, yes, I am content. Are you content? It is enough. I think I've led a good life, a full life, and I, for one, am not afraid of death, whatever it may bring. They say that when you die, your spirit travels through the Fade and returns to the Maker. And after that, Maybe. we see, won't we? If it's a thing that actually happens. This is a nice change from having to sleep in the woods, isn't it? Something I can help I'd with? I'd like to talk to you about something. Yes? What's on your mind? This vision of yours. I knew this would come up sooner or later. I don't know how to explain, but I had a dream. In it, there was an impenetrable darkness. It was so dense, so real. And there was a noise, a terrible, ungodly noise. I stood on a peak and watched as the darkness consumed everything. And when the storm swallowed the last of the sun's light, I... I fell. And the darkness drew me in. You dreamed of the light? I suppose I did. That was what the darkness was, no? When I woke, I went to the Chantry's gardens, as I always do. But that day, the rose bush in the corner had flowered. Everyone knew that bush was dead. It was grey and twisted and gnarled, the ugliest thing you ever saw. But there it was, a single beautiful rose. It was as though the Maker stretched out his hand to say, even in the midst of this darkness, there is hope and beauty. Have faith. And this made you want to help me? In my dream I fell, or, or maybe I jumped. I'd do anything to stop the blight. I know that we can do it. There are so many good things in the Maker's world. How can I sit by while the Blight devours everything? I suppose I couldn't sit by either. That is why you're a Grey Warden. Come, there is. there's a Blight to stop. You know, I could get to like this. The last time I came to Denerim, I stayed at an inn so filthy the bedbugs had fleas. What say oh, you? Oh, personal. Um, Again? I... I'm game. Okay, um... Trail, win. Again, no. I think there was... Queen. We have to actually talk to the Queen. The Redcliffe servants are intolerable. Is ten times the size of ours. They have visitors here. They should okay. show some manners. I'm sorry that you feel this way. My room. Why is Morgan in my room again? Servant asks if I would like a change of clothes, I will set the house on fire. What comes, Let's my friend? Let's discuss something personal. 
We are hardly alone, so privacy is not an option. It is your question, however. Ask what you will. Never mind. Heartless, why would I call her Heartless? That doesn't sound very sensible. Hello, Arlemon. Ah, Warden. I trust you've made yourself Who's comfortable. Who's that? This is Elena. She's. I am Queen Enora's handmaiden. She sent me here to ask for your help. Or perhaps the young lady prefers. Why would Enora ask us for help? The Queen. She is in a difficult position. She loved her husband, no? And trusted her father to protect him. When he returns with no king and only dark rumors, what is she to think? She worries, no? But when she tries to speak with him, he does not answer. He tells her not to trouble her. I'm still not seeing where our help comes in. So she goes to how? A visit from the Queen to the new Isle of Denrum is only a matter of courtesy. And she demands I answers. guess that didn't go well. He calls her every sort of name, traitor being the kindest, and locks her in a guest room. Logan would allow that. King Kellen was like a son to him, and Logan left him to die. Does he love Anora more? Who can say? I think her life is in danger. I heard how say she would be a greater ally dead than alive. Especially if her death could be blamed. Why would Logan kill his own daughter just to frame Eamon? We may have no choice but to trust Anora. The Queen is well loved. If Logan succeeded in pinning her death on me, I'm not sure Correct. that's a risk we, we can afford to take. I have some uniforms. I'll how hire so many new girls every day. A few more will not cause much stir. I will show you to the servants and friends. We must slip in and out with my queen before anyone is the wiser. I will go ahead to House Estate. Meet me there as soon as you can. Okay. Rescue the queen it is. Okay, let's... Um, let's not take a shale with us then, maybe. Um, in general... Okay, I, I may draw a little suspicion. Maybe let's take the full human squad then. Stay to say. Uh, wait, where, where, where are we supposed to go? to go again out of dinner in palace as soon as we... okay good so let's let's boost our clients first uh, sure why not uh, clients yeah so get, uh, fireball yeah what kind of mage can I use fireball am I right um, start next. Uh, sure, why not? Uh, must expel. Let's boost out the Arister. You can war cry, because why the hell not? Good. Let's, let's go there. Oh, well, what's happening here? 
Okay. Um, hello? Trap Kali. right ahead. Trap oh, right ahead. I think you know what is there. I think like our friend Zevran might be one of the damnation. And so here is the mighty Grey Warden at long last. The crows send their greetings once again. So they sent you, Talison. Or did you volunteer for the job? I volunteered, of course. When I heard that the great Zevran had gone rogue, I simply had to see it for myself. Is that so? Well, here I am, in the flesh. You can return with me, Zevran. I know why you did this, and I don't blame you. It's not too late. Come back and we'll make up a story. Of Anyone course, I'd need to be dead first. And I'm not about to let that happen. What? You've gone soft. I'm sorry, my old friend, but the answer is no. I'm not coming oh, back. Oh, that's so cute. You should have stayed in Antiva. Okay, let's kill. Yeah. Uh, Fire uh, ready. Uh, I Talison is dead, and I am free of the crows. They will assume that I am dead along with Talison. So long as I do not make my presence known to them, That's a good thing, right? they will not seek me out. A very good thing. It is, in fact, what I had hoped for ever since you decided not to kill me. I have enjoyed our company, but I am wondering if it is not time for me to leave. That would be the practical thing to do, no? There is a freedom awaiting me that I have never known. But I suppose the decision is yours. Will you let me go? I wish you would stay. I need your help. Do you? Hmm. I suppose there are worse things I could do with I my time than save time. the world? <laughs> and who could resist such a request? Very well. I will not abandon you. Let us return to the yes, task at hand. Most definitely. There is still much to be done, yes? Um, but I think you might want to rest for a bit. And let's take our deal with Liliana with us. Indeed. Trap right ahead. So no silly Alistair's we got we got caught on it. Done the trap and let's go to our Denerans estate then. Okay, we finish our Zevran business, that's that's good. I'm off. Yeah. Yes. Elven's influence is on the other side of the house. We must slip past this cloud to reach it. We will be careful, 
Al how is inside? Yes, and wherever he goes, Why can't we great go in many the guards go with him. Do you not see the angry workmen there? I think it will be some time before even Rand and Hau can lose this front door, no? I will okay. be right behind you. I guess that was a silly question. What the hell? To, to, to lead the way. This way. Okay, there are some good soldiers, alright. Yes! Someone is coming. Where is coming? I don't see anyone. Yet. Oh, the plot thickens. Why bother? There's only two of them. But you must move quickly. More guards patrol every hour. If they find these two missing, they will Let's know. Go. Oh say? no, no, wait! Need Something to put on is our a mess! Ali! My lady does not have much time! Are you all prepared? What about the uniforms? We won't get us inside. These two know who is allowed to come and go. Let's they go. will not be fooled, but the uniform should work on most of those inside. I will lure um, them into the courtyard. Wait in the what, bushes. What bushes? <laughs> oh, you must come! I saw something! A better fountain! I think it was a dark spawn! Dark spawn? They will drag us all underground to be eaten! Should we call for help? Did you fall off a cart full of stupid? Call for help? So they can see us act like scared little girls because of some knife-eared wench? They will eat us all alive! Please get help! If there is something out there and we don't sound the alarm, we'll look worse than scared. And trust these holy knickers. Fine, we'll check the courtyard, if it'll keep you from wetting yourself. But there's nothing there. Thank you. Oh! It was over here! Quickly! Okay. Let's go inside. Okay. Forever to be rid of those two. You must be careful now. The servants, they will not look closely at anyone in uniform. All guards are alike to a cook, no? But you should not draw attention to yourself. Most of the guards are new. They will not know you for a stranger at a glance. Where's Nora? It's best you keep your distance from all of them and try to blend in. She's in a guest sure, room off the main hall. 
And thus they guide us. This kitchen is a disgrace. How did the old armed servants ever cook anything in here? No one ever said the Kendalls had any sense. Okay. I say how was the devil and build a new one. It has to knock down every twenty out of not mutton. Three nights in a row. For all we know, it's not mutton. How could you keep the fight? And let's do this one. Clay Warden is here, my lady. Thank the Maker. I would greet what you sort of properly, setback? but I'm afraid we've had a setback. My host was How not content with leaving me under heavy guard. He sealed the door by magic. Fine. The I'll be back soon. Spell. He'll most likely be at Howe's side. Thank you, Warden. My prayers go with you. Tell okay. how will probably be in his homes. Let's They're go at to the, the end of the hall, on, on the, the left. left. And not waste any time. Right, wrong, right, right. And now this way, right here. And um. Here. Okay, what is this? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay. Oh, what? Who goes there? Nice. I thank you for creating such distraction, stranger. I have been waiting days for the opportunity. Do you think you could... Alistair? Is that you? Who... Wait. I do know you. You were at my joining. He's one of us. A warden from Orlais. Jada, I think. Or was it Monsuma? I'm afraid I don't remember your name. I'm Riordan, senior warden of Jada, how? but born and bred in Hyever, and glad to be home. How did Carla Howe capture you? I saw him going to the dungeons. He may still be there. With an offer of hospitality and a poison chalice. What are you doing here? I was fool enough to think Loghain didn't yet know who I was. For the most part, attempting to hold my tongue. I was sent when we received no word from King Caelan as to the outcome at Ostagar. The king had invited all the wardens of Orlais and their support troops to join him. Then nothing. I wouldn't be much use to you in my current condition. And if you'll pardon me, I have a sudden desire to breathe some free air. I will seek you out later. Okay. After I find a good physician. I guess and there's good luck, no time to waste. Brother. Um, so, how be in dungeon? Let us search for our how in dungeon. Oh, quit quitting around, you know me. Who goes? You think you're clever, do you? Anybody tries to come in here without how say so, we get to do what we oh, like. Oh, so you say? I think we finally got a bit of entertainment here, lads. Oh! 
Oh, that was. Something. Hey, you killed more again. I'm not about to save more again. I don't like it. I don't know if Jackie fucking broke up. I mean, I broke up with her. I'm gonna kill my friend. Try to kill him. Good. You're dead. See that girl? If you have a world to save. I'm off. Should I say woman? This girl sexist? I guess it was really sexist. Sorry about that. Huh. Oh you little rascals. I was getting injured. Okay. Um oh, how? Yes! Okay, the game was safe, good. Let's carry out that. I am fine. Well, there's gonna be a lot of saving, okay? Like, from now on, we to save a lot of people. Okay, I don't know who the... I don't remember who the hell was Drexel, but... Let's help him to the game. Do you hear it? Sorry, is that you? Don't tell me. What in the name of the forgotten gods are you doing here? I'm so touched you remember. I thought perhaps you'd forgotten me. Been having a good time playing Grey Warden, cousin? Well, I've been rotting here for your crimes. What do you mean, my crimes? I mean you saying we both killed Vaughn. And then leaving me to hang. Now, are you just gonna stand there gaping? Oh, sorry, or are you gonna let me out of this key. bloody cell? What a um, relief to know you care. Where's the jailer? Here's the jailer.
Yeah, I figured he'd be mad. They said to retreat. The horn sounded and we turned, and then the screams. We rode and they screamed and screamed and... It's alright. <sighs> Mother, can you smell the blood? They said it was only Darkspawn. But we hate them too. They died, and we left them in the swamp. The witch. The witch. You're free now. He's obviously mad. I don't think you'll get anything more out of him. Safe. Is okay. there a safe? Perhaps next door. Why didn't you come for me sooner, cousin? I, I waited and waited. I mean, when the girls were taken, you led the charge to get them back. I, I thought, they'll never abandon me. And then it just dragged on and on. I don't even know how long I've been down here. I, I, I heard Duncan something about to Ostagar. This is my first time back. Dead. Ostagar. Some of the other men here were at Ostagar. They said the king was killed. I hear things down here from some of the other prisoners. You should get somewhere safe. We can catch but up later. I never know how to tell what's true. You're right. I hear more guards down that way, and I don't want to be here when they notice you. I think I'll lay low. Yep. Alaris should be willing to give me shelter in the store. probably go, um... Save the queen now, because I saved my cousin already. And a bit of a hurry. It wasn't very heartwarming. Uh, well, pay yourself, Juliana. Okay. Well, well, the Grey Warden. I must say I'm surprised Eamon would condone you invading my castle and murdering my men. I'm here for Is he losing faith in the persuasive powers of his land's meat? <laughs> the traitorous bitch has you under her thumb. Honora does love games. I'm surprised she'd play with the likes of you. You should have left when you had the chance, Warden. Slunk off to the Anderfels to hide with the rest of your kind. This land is a you. farce. Logan will triumph and you will die. Just like Morrigan said. He just killed the mate first. Just stop flanking, that's annoying. Oh shit. Oh, oh, he has blood mages. Son raped my cousin, so you don't deserve anything actually. Oh, you deserve exactly what you got right now. Like, 
sweet dreams, asshole. Get on. Okay. Let's go back to the main floor then. And save Honora. But that will happen in the next episode. So, uh, thanks for watching, my peeps. Hope you enjoyed this one. Good. At least it was a bit boring, I agree, but then it got very bloody. And we are almost at the end of our game, so can't wait for the next chapter, and I hope you as well. Uh, so again, thanks for coming, like and subscribe, etc. Leave a comment, and you know, bye bye!